The class of 25 students waited patiently for their professor to arrive. The next moment, in a flurry of color and motion, their professor entered the room. She placed her umbrella on her desk and shook out her coat free of the rain that caused her delay. Good morning, class. I love your umbrella, a student said admiringly. The umbrella was beautiful indeed. Large yellow butterflies were painted all over the clear plastic. Thank you, the teacher responded. I brought it because it's cheery and it makes people look up. Have you noticed how nobody ever looks up? Nobody looks at chimneys or trees against the sky or the tops of buildings. Everybody just looks down at the pavement or their shoes. The whole world could pass them by and most people wouldn't notice. Anyway, welcome to Good and Evil 101. I'm your professor, Professor Savant. Let's just jump into the reading list. Over the course of this semester, we'll be focusing on four books. Books that I believe explore the dynamics of good versus evil and whether we really know the, the difference. So first we have The Book Thief by Marcus Dusak. This one has a clear differentiation between good and evil. You have the very evil Hitler in the background, but you also have Liesel in the foreground, who is a book thief. And though thievery is probably easily defined as an evil event, is it really evil if she's doing it for the benefit of saving literature? Next, we have Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. It definitely goes into this huge dichotomy of what we can call good and what we can call evil. Is our main heroine Nimona good or is she evil? Is Ballister Blackheart good or is he evil? And are these people good just because that's the title that they've been given? Or are they the villains just because of the, their titles? Can we really call these people good or or evil. And that's what this that's what our discussion will entail. Next we have Wild Bill Donovan by Douglas Waller. It's a little bit over on the denser side, but I believe this book definitely explores what we can call good and what we can call evil. Doug, um, Wild Bill Donovan was the creator of the o OSS and Modern American Espionage. He was a man that was perpetually in the gray. We can't call him a good person or an evil person. He was somewhere in between. And even though he probably did a lot of irreputable acts as the leader of a spy organization, it was for the common good of wartime, so how can we define his actions? And that's what our discussion will entail. Finally, we will be Ending our discussion of the semester with my book, The Last of the Really Great Wing Doodles by Julie Andrews Edwards, of which I am the main character, Professor Savant at your service. Now, this book is quite interesting because a character that we believe to be evil for the entire or most part of the book reveals himself to be anything but. He is just trying to protect his charge. So can we say that he's evil or not? That is what our class will discuss. So that concludes the list. I hope you all are excited about the class this semester. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Now let's just jump right into the first book. Hello everyone, it's me, Maya, and welcome to my channel. I hope you have enjoyed the clips of beforehand. I decided to do kind of a voiceover type thing just because it was kind of hard going from the narration to me to the different characters. So I hope it worked out the way I really wanted to work out. So behind me, again, is the reading list. The Book Thief by Marcus Susak, Nimona by Noelle Stevenson, Wild Bill Donovan by Douglas Waller, and The Last of the Really Great Wing Doodles by Julie Andrews Edwards. I feel like all of these books definitely give the start of the discussion of what makes something good and what makes something evil. I decided that it was best to start with the densest heaviest book that I could find first as far as the, that di dichotomy with the book thief. Get a little bit lighter, lighter with Nimona, something a little bit more easier to, to digest 
go back to dense with Wild Bill Donovan, and then go back to light with the last of the really great Wayne Doodles. So I really decided to think about, as a student, what would I like to read? Of course, I'm not sure if I'd actually be able to read all four books during the semester, but I feel like it, even just taking some passages out of each of these books would start the discussion. And if you haven't noticed, I have somewhat completed three challenges with this video. I am cosplaying as Professor Savant, who is the main character of The Last of the Really Great Wing Doodles. I created or um, interpreted one of my favorite scenes from The Last of the Really Great Wing Doodles as well. And I also created a reading list, which is three challenges. But I just kind of wanted to do it for fun. I kind of wanted to smash them all these de together. And it's not a really unofficial entry into the contest, but I really wanted to do it. So this is what you have. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so much. I hope you guys have been having an amazing booktubeathon. I know I have. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.